Hi, I'm Lena Mitchellick with Sportsman's Warehouse, and I'm going to give you five quick tips that I know will improve your overall shooting with pistol and your experience at the range. So we'll get right into it with these two products. One is an Uplula. Now, these are not expensive, and they are a serious thumb and time saver. So what they do is assist you in loading mags. So I have 10 rounds here, and I'll show you just how easy it is. I mean, like, you can't argue with that right there. You really can't. Uh, if you have someone that's new to shooting and pistol shooting, loading mags can be a real challenge. So buying and investing in one of these is just makes everybody's life at the range easier. Next is Pro Grip. This is like liquid magic in a bottle. Uh, if you ever have problems uh, with your grip shifting or you don't feel like uh, it's, you're gonna stay in one place in your hands, Pro Grip is what you need. It is just this little cream that you put on your hands. You want to rub it into your palms and on the backs of your dominant hand, those fingers, because they overlace. And what that does is just dry your hands out, make them very slightly tacky, but not sticky and talk about a huge game changer for your pistol grip, especially for someone like me that lives in the south. It's hard to maintain a solid pistol grip, especially if there's no texturing on the gun, so pro grip is a must. Now, the three techniques that I have for you. We're gonna start off with what I teach in every single class that I do, rifle, pistol, or shotgun, but especially applies to pistol. Now, this is interactive, so you have to do it with me. Are you ready? We're going to take our palms and our hands and we're going to press them together. Elbows all the way extended. We're going to push together as hard as we can. Push, 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 push. Now start to bring your palms back to your chest, pushing still as hard as you can. All right. What did that show us? Well, for one, how much strength did you have out here? How much palm pressure could you create when your arms were extended? Almost none. Right here though, you had max power. You could use your shoulders and your arms, you could use everything to really push your palms together. Also notice where your elbows went. Did they go under? No, they didn't. They went straight out to the sides to create that palm pressure. Now, why do I point all that out? Because what does everyone do when they pick up a pistol? They go and extend their arms fully with elbows under. What that does immediately is you lose all of your strength and dexterity in your hands and your elbows are under, so you've created a giant lever that recoil is gonna come and try and use. And then you have to try and push that gun back down with your muscles. Easiest thing and one of the biggest tips technique wise for pistol shooting is to just rotate your elbows up to the side because now your arms physically cannot bend up, so your bone structure is helping with recoil management and slightly bend your arms so that you have strength in them. If I were to give you a jar and say to open it, or a, net a needle to thread, would you do it out here? Absolutely not. You do it all right in here, right close and tight into your body. So that's where we want our gun to be. So my grip and my arms look like this when I shoot pistol. Elbows out, so my bone structure helps with recoil management. Elbows slightly bent so that I still have strength to create uh, palm pressure. Now, you've probably noticed these lovely marker lines I have on my hand. The purpose of those are a reference point for my grip. A lot of times, we'll find the exact grip we want to shoot, but it doesn't happen, you know? Sometimes we grip and it's here, sometimes we grip and it's here, up and down and all over the place. Uh, drawing a line, connecting your hands, is a very simple and visual reference for whether or not your technique is consistent. So find that perfect grip you want, and then have someone just draw a line connecting your two hands. So if you ever feel off or you're not sure if it's right, you can simply look down and visually see if it is or not. Lastly, um, a lot of times our support hand, especially if we're new to pistol shooting, doesn't really know where to go. Our fingers don't know what to do, and I see fingers go in trigger guards when they're not supposed to, or low, or high, or up, and just all sorts of wild stuff. So what you want to do is start with your support hand in the exact position it needs to be when there's a gun there. 
So if you shoot with a traditional fingers under the trigger guard grip, I call it the mitten, you're going to start with your hands in a mitten by your side. So that all you have to do is present the gun to your hand and it goes exactly where it's supposed to. For me, I have a bit of a different technique uh, with my hand where I actually shoot with two fingers in front of the trigger guard. So I take the same idea and I start with uh, my hand like this by my side. So once again, as soon as the gun's presented, my fingers know exactly where to go and there's no uh, fingers going to the trigger guard that don't need to be there. So there are my five quick tips. Hopefully they will help you out at the range to have an overall great experience technique wise and with ease.